welcome back to another video. Now I am doing my Newcastle crew mode. I just love it a lot. Um, but I will be using my under twenty three to We're against Liverpool with this. No, all I can say is I'm I'm preparing to lose by about 20 nil this is a, i'm either using this which is which still looks like some cow poo <laughs> i don't know but like this we have a 18 year old 58 rated midfielder as our captain that's not going well. I, I might actually use my main team, but quite a few players are tired. Especially Besser and Willock. And uh, oh, pretty much all on midfielders. Like, if I do want to get through in the Carabao Cup, I'll, I'll give my second team a chance. But I'll see you once I've played that game. Hi, this is one of the um, strangest games I've ever played. Now, I'll just go past this. So, Salah scored. I, d I didn't really mind because this was my second team and um, I didn't mind if I lost, but Carl Darlow did actually have an amazing game. I might actually choose him. They missed so many penalties that it's not even in the thing, but, so, I'll explain to you what happened, because for some reason it's not showing them, but, um, yeah, Carl Darlow did really good, but, they got one penalty, um, Darlow saved it, they got another penalty, uh, Firmino missed it, they got another penalty, Firmino missed it, and they got another penalty and Darlow saved it. That's one of the reasons I, I, am, I am actually considering Darlow as my main uh, goalie. 8.2 rating. He just did stupidly good. Now, this is the Carabao Cup, so I don't mind. And it was also my second team, so I don't mind that much. But still, that was a dramatic game. Because I was like, like, I was like, oh, I'm They missed three penalties. And then they got another penalty. And I was like, they got to score this. You can't. Um, oh, yeah. I I don't even care. Lascelles Lizelle, was playing, like, I don't know. Like, just, like, he, he didn't actually, he wasn't actually a footballer, honestly. But luckily we have done it. But. I will actually play, um, what's his name for a game? Darlow, yeah, I will actually play Darlow for a game. That, that was a good game for Darlow. So, yeah, that, that was just shockingly good. Like, or just good. I was like, Liverpool, he, he only conceded two, and they were, and they were both kind of goals that, even if you put Oblak in there, he'll have trouble getting to them. Taylor Roberts. Oh my god, this man could literally be the next. <laughs> he could literally be the English Kaka. I wanted him to be. I am currently teaching him how to play Sanamid. <laughs> this player can play centre back. Right back and centre mid. His shooting is better than his passing though, so. Oh, 
Oliver Schinkel, I think they might be said. Schinkel? Schinkel? <laughs> uh, seems like he could be a. Okay. The cam, but his shooting needs to improve. Yeah, actually, cam. The next voice. And then. Zekasis. Javier the Peru. <laughs> Will we have two Peru players? Okay, wait, I think he should definitely be. If I can teach him to be like a left back, but I don't, I don't think that's kind of realistic. As he's currently. Okay, and then Marriott. Playing as a striker, so that's my youth academy right now. What have I sent my? I probably will actually. So I don't usually do this. Okay, so he should come on the twenty-third of each month. Don't know why I didn't do it before, but. I will play the Fulham game now. I'm fitting much more games into one episode now. No, I'll sim the Fulham game uh, so I can sim it on camera and then I'll play the next game after that. We're currently in sixth. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we're only. Uh, led into a three. Well, literally one point or fourth, so. An unavailable player on my bench, that's Aaron's. Play Darlow for this game. And if we concede... Um, wait, King, is that... Joshua King, the one who plays for... Or played for Bournemouth. I think he did anyway, but... A loss against Forum... I did say that uh, that I need to sim some games just to uh, prove that. But is that really that? Um. Okay. Oh yeah, I was looking at the player who was the he was the top scorer in the Carabao Cup. He's on loan at Fulham. Huh? Well, I might actually. Loan him in next season, but Fulham managed to loan in a real beast there. He's on excellent form. He might actually like be one of their stop players. Is he? Are they gonna loan to buy him? I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Ariola on loan. Yeah, one thing that I have, they loan in way too many players. Wait, wait, they they must have bought Todd Cantwell if you then have not loaned in Todd Cantwell, that'd been stupid. That would have been a stupid move from uh, Norwich to loan him out. I am a Wolves fan so um <laughs> I always like to check how he's doing, but King this man he is being loaned in or bought next season. That man has to. Like, I know what is his potential. What will he grow to? Because he he has to grow. 
<coughs> he's right. It says he's on excellent form. He must be like one of the top goal scorers. This year, oh, he's only got the same potential as his rating. Wait, wait, when did I start? Oh, I did start it after March the 29th, so. At the start of the year, I'm sure he had like 78. No, 77 at the start of the year. Wait, at the start of the year, he played for Bournemouth. On December the 10th, he was at Bournemouth. And it, January the 21st, still at Bournemouth. January the 28th, still at Bournemouth. And then on February the 4th, he's at Everton. So, didn't know that. Well, he's probably gonna. Right, okay. But like I did say, we do need to submit game every now and again. So, where is King? Yep, up there. Top top player with assists. Clean sheets. The Bravka with one. Assists. How, how the how does Wolves have three of the top six? So our top player is Wilson with two. Yeah, he was getting one. okay. Now Carabao Cup. <laughs> Smith is wait. Oh, Rotherham must have been knocked out. I do actually want to see because um, uh, we got knocked out of the FA Cup, of course, with that crazy game against Liverpool. But Carabao, Carabao Cup, Carabao Cup. No, I wanted to see Smith be like. Wait, uh, what teams would have got through that I wouldn't expect to? Bradford Bradford are the only like unexpected club okay what's happening in the FA Cup that should have started well okay well now well this is actually a good thing because now we only need to bother about um, the Premier League okay I'll definitely be playing this game against mm, Spurs so I'll do that wait I've just seen it I'm going to accept this now I'm the manager of Mexico as well I'm just saying the draw against Spurs I don't mind because in FIFA Spurs are stupidly good, but so Lo Celso just I don't know why I like I did play Darlo because of his good form, but we get a penalty and Willock just slots it in. And then a Daniel Besser, that lonely player. Then look at that play from Saint Maximin, and just a, and he just needs to literally just tap it in. And like that's why I play Darlo now. But uh, I was so annoyed when this happened. I was like, yeah, maybe we could have got a comeback, but he deserves it. It was a great goal, and. And the, um, I don't want to look at this. <gasps> no, it doesn't show it, but pretty much Willock 
almost got the winning goal and he just it missed by a mile honestly well it didn't miss by a mile it is, it's but it was it felt like it missed like a mile but it didn't really it was actually really close oh yeah I, oh, that's just an international friendly, but, yeah, uh, so a draw, a draw against Spurs, you have to remember, they're currently in fifth, they're fighting for Champions League football, Wolves doing that good, <laughs> but, what, where are the, oh, okay, wait, is this really an international friendly if we're playing the same team? Oh yeah, this definitely is an international friendly, even though we're playing... Oh, uh, sorry about this. I'll need to end this clip and I'll come back after. I've just had um, my dinner, so... Uh, yep. Look, we've got an offer for Federico Fernandez again. He could have gone back to his home country, but he thought, well, his home country's team that had offered him thought, we're not playing, being, so we're not playing, we're not paying. I, I was, I was just trying to say we're not, but his home country not paying that. It's just weird. Like usually, um, with South American players, um, instead of going to retire with the MLS, South American players usually go back uh, to their home country where they were born or where they. Four million eight hundred fifty thousand. Ah, yeah. Oh. Mm, I need to get as much money as I can. Oh yes, I love you, that manager. Oh yes, I need as much and as much money as I can out of this. Oh, I say. Dwight Gale is off to. Leicester you know I was thinking wow he's really doing good in the Carabao Cup maybe he'll be 70 up rated and we can actually sign him for a backup nope the game for nah let's not make him okay so we're three months into the season already which is pretty nice so as we're uh we're halfway through october now we're facing wolves in the bus now i did just sim those international friendlies okay then we've got one against egypt and then canada and then december is packed full of games i'm probably going to be simming a lot of those so the ones um the the ones that i'll be simming this month is that Southampton game. I'll be simming the yeah map. Now I'm planning to. Yeah. Oh yeah. This will also be our first month with a scout report coming back. So I'll ah. Uh, sorry. Uh, but I'll play this game now. Hello, people. Um, I have just played that Wolves game. Pretty boring. A nil-nil draw. Now considering that they're currently um in first in the league i think they were where are they right now they yeah they did drop but when we faced them they were first in the league um i am get you know i am getting um king next season like joshua king this man is playing better than Aguero, Abamyang, Grealish, Inks, Kane. I he should. I think we have a scout report coming in on the twenty third. 
so I'll sim forward to then. I really hope that that five star, five star scout can can get us like a future star at least. Yeah, if you hear like oh. <laughs> that's just the TV in there. I'm planning to watch the Wolves West Ham game. Yep, it is the 23rd of the scout reports. Yep. Oh, oh, hmm. Fernandez has been sold. Is does Joshua King deserve <laughs> um, to be so good? He he deserves to be like an 80 rated. Shelby, we have an offer for him. Udinese, I don't even care. Isaac Hayden out. Please, please. Ah, uh, I also look at the wage because if their value is low but the wage is high, it means that they're high rated but they're they don't have really high potential. Oh, high potential to be good. Oh. Okay. Ah. Oh. This is a five star, five star scout that I spent my money on. I I can't accept this. But yeah, ball draw, nothing happened in the game. But it actually it was actually nothing. Like if you if you wanted to watch the highlights, you couldn't. There wasn't any. While we play um, Spurs and Arsenal, we, we should have just stayed in North London, really. <laughs> We're facing 10th place. The oh, this will actually determine who goes, like, who goes up into 8th or 7th. So it's not a huge game, but what, what, wait, one, two, three, four, four teams on 12 points. It just happens. To, yeah, we have the best goal difference. Arsenal have a zero goal difference. Yeah, yeah, finally, FIFA is actually using goal difference. Right. Yeah, for some reason, sometimes. Like, I think once uh, I was in the Champions League and I didn't go through because I have more goal difference than the team in second. But I'll play this game against Arsenal now and I'll show you the highlights. Hello, um, I've just completed the game. I had to uh, restart it quite a bit because um, it was quite annoying. But yep, yeah. uh, another 2 2 draw in North London, starting to get a bit annoying. But Callum Wilson uh, ends his drought with a nice goal there. But um, uh, then Martin Odegaard gets a four goals in four games with that banger. Um, Gabriel Martinelli, he, like, I, in one of the restarts, one of my players, like, rammed into him, like, like, pretty much, like, a rhino ramming into a car, and it just, uh, I don't know, but, it was crazy, and then, um, I think, yep, another goal from Callum Wilson, which has ended his, I think, uh, yeah, his 2 free game drought. And then I don't know how I conceded that. A good goal from Smith Rowe, though. Um, though, I feel like in... I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a drought, but... Uh, okay. Uh, okay, so now I've did this press conference. Uh, um, was feeding a big... Can't um can't use him uh, being out as an excuse. But, okay, yeah, no, I would say yeah, it's a really big myth. Uh, Wilson was first class. He is actually a really good player. So.
one defensive error can be expensive, yeah. So, um, that keeps us above, um, Arsenal in the table. Uh, and I feel like, so that keeps us in ninth. Where are they going to speak about, uh, him ending his drought? Oscar, uh, Oscar, look, where's that, uh, should we be watching the actual match? Yeah, um, yeah, it's, uh, it says Newcastle selection delights Lewis. Yeah, I'm really sad about this Hayden injury. He, he was playing really good for us as well, and then he just got injured. So, I think, uh, Oh yes, Hayden. Uh, he's only he's already finished a week of his four month injury. So not four month, four week. And I've just realised Almiron might have just ended his career with that injury. A seven month knock. He's already been out for three months. So, uh, so he's he's not been in training for three months. So he's already gone down a rating. Uh, his sharpness is zero uh so and that's not good uh and lascelles um yeah he also got a seven month injury an acl uh so he's already a month through that and so that's well not both of their careers over because they're only 26 um like a career um like over would kind of be like let's say um Andy Carroll no not Andy Carroll it would um a career over would be more like uh Dubravka getting injured for seven months because uh, he's older uh, nothing uh, oh yeah if you hear any like noises I'm watching football right now as well as doing this. But, ah, I do feel, like, I feel like the player that's going to be hit worse by this this injury is probably actually Jamal DeSelves. Because he was on really bad form as well, so uh, his sharpness wasn't high. Well, I think that's how it looks. Now, I think some players have actually gone up quite a bit. Um, yep. Yeah. Saint Maximine. Now I'll probably be doing a player of the episode. Well, so Hayden, not the too bad of an injury, but player of the episode, where um whoever does the best. Uh, I just like at the start of the episode say, oh yeah, they did good, so they deserve. Did I really actually properly buy Willock? I must have. Didn't know. Okay. Gone up. Currently, our highest value player is Saint Maximine, uh, who's at um, 28 million. So, if we were going to sell him, that would be big money. Uh, then, B B B B I, I signed him for, I don't know, I can't remember. I think I signed him for like. 10, 11, 12 million. Then it's Wilson, they're worth the same. Uh, yep. Uh, now I'll probably go to our next game. Uh, oh yeah, that's. Trans. Federico Fernandez set to exit, yeah. John. John Goodett. Okay, um. Chris Wood to Athletic Club. A lot of these, they don't feel. Extremely realistic. Oh my God's um, sake, Oscar, look. I know. Um, so, probably gonna go to. Wait, how long will this video be? So, in this video, I. I think in this video, I did. Yeah, in this video, I played the game against Spurs, Wolves, Arsenal. I'll sim the game against. Uh, the next game that I'll actually be playing will be against United in like about a month because 
I feel like I can sim against Southampton and West Brom. So, um, yep, so, uh, I'm really mad about that Hayden injury though, so we should be able to win, fingers crossed. Yes, best that with a goal, like, this kind of proves why, um, I have him, just to be, just to be a great, um, he might actually play in front of uh, Almiron when he comes back, not because he's high rated, but because uh, he might be on better form. I feel really bad uh, for all the players that have been injured, because what I do when a player's injured, um, is I put them all next to each other in the reserves. So, um, as you can see there. Oh. Now, where is, uh, yeah, there Shelby is. So kind of like this, so I can see. Okay, Aaron's, Lascelles, Almiron and Hayden all out. But that's four players out. Like, we're in a real injury crisis but um i'll sim to the next game so that'll be uh two games so by then i will have um so um some of my players might have grown we might have had some different results and stuff so but i hope that is what happens Um, oh, Scott's mission A, yay. Half English Hano isn't on. That's, that's the only change I want to make to it. I think, now we should get an easy win against West Brom. It should be easy peasy lemons aren't actually that squeezy, I guess. Okay. Mm. So I'm on a Veriton player. What's that? Is that like 30 and up? Yes! Isaac Hayden can join back for this West Brom game. I hope that the assistant manager subs him off at some point in the game because I don't like playing. Uh, players that have only just come out of their injury the full game or else it could it could get worse so I only usually oh yeah West Brom bottom of the table it should be an easy win here even if all our players get red cards ah yeah well, like I was hoping um Actually, what a coincidence, so Hayden scores, then sub off uh, for Fraser, then Fraser scores. I am glad that uh, the assistant manager did sub off Hayden, because uh, again, I don't like playing uh, players that have just been injured for the full game uh, after their recovery. This is one of those you know, youth players. Well, the reason I'm training him there is because of his uh, pace. That's really what you need to be. Um, okay, and now, oh, we get up to seven with just those two sim games. With Fulham with King is doing really good. Leicester doing horrible for Leicester standards. Um, West Brom honestly doing horrible they've only got three draws and nine losses in the 12 games that everyone's played now we're in the top eight which i'm happy about now arsenal uh i can imagine it's just going to be a battle between us and arsenal to see who gets um european football like it has i don't think joshua king can continue that um uh, that uh, like 
what do you call it, um, form. Like, yeah, he's only scored two goals in those two games, which is still really good considering that uh, players don't usually get nearly that many. But how will Fulham loan this man in? How? Honestly, he's honestly what well, like we're doing really good. Uh, yeah, these are just backup strikers that I'm considering for next season. Would Ayu be considered as? <laughs> yeah. Ayu be? Con I feel like Smith would. Oh, that could. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm watching the football. Like I said. Imagine if Fulham don't buy him on a proper deal. But bye, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I enjoyed making it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. So bye.